We've been traveling back and forth a lot to Melbourne recently for friends weddings and I wanted to share a few of the outfits that I've been wearing. Some more dressy and some more casual. Firstly, we'll start with this one. We went to my friend's black tie wedding and I wore this black silk dress, which I bought secondhand from Venla, which is a resale and relove store in Sydney. I love wearing secondhand dresses to weddings and then reselling them afterwards. I wore nude strappy heels, a nude bag, and my pearl drop pendant earrings from Monica Vinita. This next outfit I wore to my friend's wedding recovery day. So I'm wearing long wide leg pants, which are from Elliot. I used to model for them years ago. And then I've got this basic crop top on. This crop top is super stretchy and comfy. And this bag is from Oriton. It's secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. And the shoes I'm wearing down there are the same ones that I wore to the wedding. So they're strappy, low heel sandals. They're really comfy. These are secondhand from Depop. They're alias May, I think that's how you pronounce it. Ignore my chipped toenails. I am a mum of a baby, so I don't have time to sort that out right now. Absolutely love this outfit. I laid it with my favorite Monica Veneta necklaces on top. And then this was the jacket that I was going to wear, but it was too hot anyway. So this is like a kimono from Maury and Eve. It's a nice muslin-y cotton material and it actually comes with a little tie belt, but I wore it without. So this next outfit I wore to another event and it's the same vibe as the previous outfit, wide leg pants and a crop top. These are my favorite wide leg trousers from Reformation. I'm just obsessed with them. You would have seen me wear them plenty of times before. I've got a brown crop top on this time, the same necklaces, and then this little knitted bag I got from a charity shop, which I absolutely love. It has a zip, super handy. And then I have these sandals on, which are an old pair from Vivaya. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. They are one of my most worn sandals. I can walk miles in them. They make really comfortable shoes. But yeah, I'll leave my code for Vivaya down the bottom there if you are interested in some comfy shoes because I love what they make. Just ignore that baby mess in the background. <laughs> this outfit is something that I have been wearing a lot. <laughs> An oversized shirt on top of a vest top and shorts. It is just my go-to at the moment. It's really nice for in between weather. I get really hot running around as a mum so having like an over shirt on top is perfect. It's easy to get on and off and it's nice and cool. And then these black chunky sandals were a new addition to my wardrobe. They've been on my wish list for over a year and I finally took the plunge and got them. I'm so happy. They're from Liberty Leather. These shorts also, I got them intentionally long because now that I'm a mum, I'm always bending up and down and I don't want my butt to come out. So they're great if you're after a longer kind of short. This outfit I had to include because I've actually lost count with how many times I've worn it this summer. If you saw my Daughters of India dress collection, you would have seen this. It's the Zuri wrap dress. It is one of my favorites from my collection. It has beautiful, beautiful sleeves. The cuffs aren't tight around your sleeves as well, which is really nice. Lovely detailing and the material is lightweight and just so, so nice for summer. I can wear this on really hot days, but be like fully covered up as well, which I love. And it has pockets, which is awesome. And obviously like the shape is just so flattering. So I'm wearing that with my Vivaya sandals and my woven bag. And I seriously reach for this like the most in my wardrobe I think at the moment so I will link my whole Daughters of India dress collection above and below in case you miss that. This next outfit is a little French inspired outfit. I do love my French inspired outfits. These jeans are my nudie jeans which I've been loving. They're probably my favorite nudie pair and this top I've wanted one like this for so long. I found this one in an op shop a couple of weeks ago and I've worn it so many times since. I just love it. It's lightweight, it's a bit oversized and looks great tucked into high-waisted denim. And then I have a little canvas tote bag which I just find like the most handy bags to have about. I would usually put in a pair of earrings but I forgot on this case. And then I'm wearing my Vivaya Ballet Flats, another pair that I've had for years. 
<laughs> you guys know that I've had these ones for years. Um, worn them to death, been in the washing machine plenty of times. They're so comfortable. Highly recommend these if you're after some comfy ballet flats. But that is my little French inspired outfit. I just love this top. I'm so happy with this $13 purchase from the charity shop. And guys, that is what I've got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing what I've been wearing a lot of recently. My daughter's Zavinia dress collection is up on the screen for you now in case you missed it. That is a really lovely video. I will also link all of my lookbooks at the bottom so that you can watch them too. Okay. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.